Yeah, I was just thinking how did, uh, you know, I thought about my mom. You know, anybody that's read my book, From Serenity to Serenity, you understand that my mom and I, as, as, as well as the rest of the children, her children, we had conflict, you know, but I think about how that, besides all of that, you know, and just to give you some background for those that didn't read the book, my mother was a serious person about living and making a way for yourself, making money, her and my father, both of those people were all entrepreneurs, they were serious about it. And my mother tried to raise us up to be the same way, but we didn't catch it. And so her, you know, being a tough woman, raising four boys, no, no, no girls, four boys, she gave it to us in the raw. And uh, we resented that. And, and some of that was, it, the conflict was so bad that it kind of messed me up in life. But there is some good parts to that. And I'm just thinking about it and it brought tears to my eyes because my mother, through all of that, she still was a devoted mom. And every chance she got, she put words in my mind. Every chance she got, she taught me what, what I should do as a man. And even though I disobeyed a lot of it, there was a lot of times when the things that she taught me kept me from getting in trouble. The things that she taught me saved my life. I would go to do different things and I would go to uh, uh, commit different acts and have different types of behavior, but I heard my mother speaking. Don't do that. A man doesn't do this. A man doesn't do that. I heard her speaking in, in adverse situations. And I think what we should understand as parents is we need to teach our children. We need to keep talking to them. Most of the time, they're not going to obey. Most of the time, they're going to rebel, rebel, especially when they're younger. But it was the words of my mother. In a lot of words, she didn't know scripture. She wasn't a preacher or anything like that. But she would give me words from the word of God, instructions about how to live my life. And when I disobeyed them, I suffered for them. But sometimes when I did what she told me to do, even when she wasn't around, I was blessed. My life was spared on many occasions. What I'm saying here right now is never, ever give up on your children. And they might say they don't want to hear it. They might say they don't want you talking to them, but never, ever stop teaching. Never, ever stop giving them little nuggets because one day those nuggets are going to start making sense. One day those nuggets are going to hit home. One day those nuggets will bring them back home to you. That's the plan. That's the goal. That's the intent to give them something to come back to and also to hold them that they don't go too far. Well, I got to stop right there, but this is uh, Mr. P. Arthur Tenez Patillo. I still have that burning fire and desire to uh, inspire you to go higher in your goals and your objectives in your life. I'm gone. Talk to you later.